February 5th, Blessed Mary Teresa Bunzel, Virgin Third Order. A person who was acquainted with her life, with her in life, writes that Mother Mary Teresa lived a holy life, practiced many heroic acts of virtues, and became a brilliant model for all the members of the congregation which she had founded and which was so richly blessed by God. Blessed Mary Teresa saw the light of day in the little town of Olpe in southern Westphalia as the eldest daughter of the merchant Bonzel. This was in 1830 on the feast of the stigmata of our Holy Father, St. Francis. A singular coincidence when we remember that she was called to present to the Franciscan family a flourishing new branch and to renew in her person the spirit of the poor man of Assisi. Already at her first Holy Communion, she espoused herself with our Savior and prayed again and again, O Lord, I am your victim. Accept me as your victim. Do not reject me. She entered the Third Order when she was not quite 20 years of age. Her whole being impelled her toward convent life, but a heart ailment and the opposition of her mother interfered with her plans. Then it was that a devout woman, then it was that a devout woman made the unusual statement, you are called to found a convent of perpetual adoration in your native town. Providence guided her, Already on December 30th, 1860, Mother Mary Teresa and eight young women who were similarly minded received the holy habit in the parish church at Olpe. After many difficulties, the foundation was incorporated in the great family of the Saint of Assisi under the name of the Poor Franciscans of Perpetual Adoration. The members pledged themselves to acquire the spirit of the poor man of Assisi, to carry on perpetual adoration before the Blessed Sacrament, to engage in the education of youth and the care of the poor and the sick. When death summoned the foundress to receive her well-earned reward on February 6, 1905, her sisters were active already in both the old and the new world. Blessed Mary Teresa had no doubt earned this blessing from on high, particularly through her Franciscan spirit, the piety which permeated her whole being, her willing and resigned acceptance of bodily and spiritual afflictions, coupled with complete trust in God, and at last, but not least, through the charity which she never refused either to her sisters or to the poor, the sick, and poor sinners. To become all to all was the motto of her life, and it appears that even now she wishes to become all to all through her intercession at the throne of God. On charity towards our neighbor. Charity will always bring us blessings. It was not in vain that our, the Savior said, As long as you did it to the least of my brethren, you did it to me. Matthew 25, 40. From this we can understand that the great and tender charity of Blessed Mary Teresa laid the foundation for her holiness and merited so many blessings for her community. Love God and your neighbor, and do good to your neighbor if you wish to receive special graces from God. The love of God must be joined to the love of our neighbor. Thus it was in the case of Mother Mary Teresa. That is the reason why she united the works of mercy with perpetual adoration of her dear Lord in the tabernacle and with deep-seated piety. To do good from mere natural motives, or even from selfish motives, is no virtue. Do not also the heathens and the publicans do this? Matthew 5, 46.
It is an essential point of charity that we bear with the weaknesses and faults of our neighbor. Bear one another's burdens. Galatians 6.2 That too, Mother Mary Teresa did most faithfully. Such patience and self-denial are more pleasing to God than a long series of prayers and works of penance. To forget injuries and to forgive one's enemies is the most godly act of penance. Have you always fostered patient and forbearing charity? Prayer of the Church Thou dost permit, O Lord, that to those who love thee all things tend to their good. Grant us the imperishable sentiments of charity, so that in those things which we feel impelled to do in charity through thy inspiration, we may not be made to waver because of any adversity. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed Mary Teresa Bunzel, pray for us.